So those were the scenes, palliative distribution turning to pandemonium at the Nazareth State University and ended up in the loss of two lives. Two students lost their lives in unavoidable circumstances, uh, as you can see there. We've spoken to the commissioner uh, who's in charge of that process of distributing palliatives in Nazareth State, but it's time to hear from the students. And we have joining us here in our Lagos studio, Akintai Batunde is the president of the Senate National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS. Good morning, welcome to the morning break. Good morning, thank you very much. I mean, a lot of Nigerians have seen that video. We've heard from the government just now, we heard from the commissioner, and it looks like there's a chain of responsibilities to be taken. The government responsible for sharing palliatives, but it also appears as though the school management and the student body were also involved in this. I know you have obviously been speaking uh, with the body there in Nasser State, and what are they telling you was the cause of that unavoidable death? The, what happened was that the Joint Campus Committee in Nasarawa, they wrote to the government that they want palliative and relief materials for students in Nasarawa State. So the government uh, approved 8,000 food package for each school in the state and 20 million naira to be given to each student. So they started from Federal University of Lafia in Lafia. So it was even the governor that flagged it off. And I think the state government seems they have done about six schools. So what happened in Kefi? I think the, the government, because they think they have done other schools, it was successful. So instruction was given, but enforcement did not really follow in uh, National State University Kefi. Because the SUD, the SUD president, in conjunction with the management, are supposed to come up with a list of students they believe are supposed to get the palliative. It is 8,000 packs, but for two, two per student and money. So a time was communicated to the students to come outside for the palliative, just as they have done in other schools. So that day, the JSC chairman said, they just say that students are going there themselves to pick the, the palliative themselves. When the time to start the program have not even, uh, it is not yet time to start the program. So when they see that some students are taking it, others also see the opportunity and see how open the access to the place is. So they just join them. You know students, there are different types of students. So opportunity to get the food and that was what led to the stampede. So was there no security? Obviously, there was no security. Yes. There was not appropriate barricades. Are those the things you are hearing as well? How many security operatives were they meant to have had there? How many did they have? What was the uh, organization plan? Uh, in a situation like this, there are supposed to be enough and adequate security. Because you don't think because it is successful in other schools, then you should be, you should be negligent with your duty in in other schools too because the way these students will react and the way the management will handle their situation is different from the way other schools should manage their situation. So I think apart from the security from the management, the government is also supposed to have provide a security, a barricade, because you know when it is issue of food and it involves students, any little opportunity that the students see, many of them will want to take it at least to get some who get one, some who get some who even want to get more than the two. And there are some students on that campus that their name was uh, was not on the list. So they believe that little opportunity when they see they want to take it to at least to their advantage. So those are the things that the management and the government are supposed to have prepared for. So I think that negligence and because they believe no everything will be fine was what has happened because there is there is a CSO, the chief security officer on that campus, who is also supposed to have known that uh, this school, this is my school, he knows the type of student, he know what can happen if they are if they should take any chances. And they, they took the chances by not even providing adequate security. Because even from the video you are seeing now, I don't think if you can see uh, securities around there trying to even stop the you know, page. So, so as, a, as an association, um, who are you holding responsible and what are you demanding? Uh, as an association, we have demanded the government to investigate what really happened. 
we have asked them to at least get those that are supposed to do their job and they did not do it. You know, situation like this, if people are not punished, if people are not made to face the consequence of their action, then continuously people will involve negligence in their duty. Do as we have requested that the those that have injured their uh, hospital bed should be taken care of by the government and sincerely since these issues happened the government has been cooperative. They have they've not been playing defensive role. They've take they, they took responsibilities. They went to the hospital with some of our comrades down there and they've also promised to at least meet the parents of those that have lost their life and also compensate them, though they've not told us what they will do. But we are also saying above compensation they should investigate and those that are responsible for that program, those that are supposed to monitor it to make sure it's went successfully and this have happened and they should let people face the consequence of their action. So those are our demands from them. So while we're waiting for investigation, there are some things that are already emerging from our conversation with you. For instance, you have also said that there, the students knew that there was a list and perhaps if their names were not on that list, uh, that they may not get for that particular round of distribution. You have also said that the time was communicated for the distribution of the palliatives. But it appears as if, if I get you correctly, it appears as if... Um, the the distribution or the access for students to go and get their palliatives was allowed prior to the time of commencement am i correct yes those were those were the issues yes the issue was that you know in a when you want to give palliative like that even when you've not started the program you have to, you have to secure the the venue very well because you know any even even if it is not student it might even be staff that have access to it they want to take they might want to take advantage of it so not securing that place and allowing little access is what has caused the this. place was not secured one yes. do you know what time was communicated to the students for the commencement yeah, I think they said of it the should be around two o'clock they will start the, two in the afternoon, yes, in the afternoon we'll start but the, uh, the students had okay. access prior to that yeah, time according to the, in the in morning, fact the commissioner said that as about 3 a.m the students had begun coming for the uh uh, to receive the to palliatives. Receive palliatives. So who organized the distribution? The dis Are you aware? The distribution is... Who, who prepared that list also? The list is, a, is, a, is in relationship with the, the SUG, the school management, the student body and the school management. Because I think uh, with what we had, said, the list are prepared to the faculties, the department, in conduction with the student union government. So those are those they are to make the list. But distribution are also not the sole aim of the management or the or the student body. Student body. Because according to the information we had, the governor was supposed to be there. So flag up so, the distribution. So he flagged up the one in Lafia. All right. So the one in Kefi. in Kefi was supposed to be the final stage. So he was supposed to also be there for the distribution. So which means the, the distribution is not even the duty of the school management. They are not to distribute the palliative themselves. Okay. It is the government who have produced, provide the palliative and they are the ones to distribute the palliative. So the governor was also supposed to be there according to the information we gathered from our comrades and the JC chairman in Nasara State. So the governor was supposed to be there to join them in distributing the palliatives to the students. So, but due to what happened, it was unable okay, to be because additional, additional sorry. sorry, Jeffrey, because additional 5,000 naira was supposed to be given, given as was given in other yes, 20, institutions. Yes, 20 million to each school, so additional 5,000 naira was supposed okay, to be So given. we should be looking at uh, the school management, the f faculties, and the student union government in asking further questions as we have asked here. Yes. Okay. Jeffrey. Because what I was saying was, I, the commissioner had said that they had to give that responsibility to the school. So this information is a bit different from what I heard the commissioner the say. The responsibility they gave to the school is to get the, the list of the beneficiaries. Not the sharing. Get the list of beneficiaries, provide the venue for the program, not the distribution. Okay. Because every other school they've gone, also gone to to do the program, it was not the school management that distributes the food themselves. And the money, it wasn't the school management that distributed it. But is it the school that so, is supposed to also provide security? Not so the those that are providing, the duty of those that are to provide the security is what we don't know. But I know school are supposed to provide security and also the government are supposed to monitor the security of the program. Because this is not just a program by the school. 
So, so the, 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 the 5,000 Naira per student was not handed over, the monies were not handed over to the faculty. No, no, it was not to the faculty. I think as you are getting your food, you'll be getting the So that is to support, to uh, support what you're saying, that the, school, the, the, author, the government was supposed to handle the distribution. The distribution, yes. Right, so the money was not shared or has not been shared? It has not been shared, yes. Okay. Uh, well, you listen to the commissioner. You've also probably listened to the governor speak on this. Are you satisfied, particularly with um, uh, sanctions and, will I say, consequences for those who found wanting? What do you want to be done for those who found culpable? Yes, we are. We are due to uh, so far the governors. Are, the governor have said anybody found wanting will lose his job, his or her job. And as far as investigation, as far as have investigated, and you are found wanting, you will lose your job because you did not do your job. That is what is happened. Some uh, students have died, and those that died, they are from. They, are, they belong to a family. They are people's children, and if we just let it go like that, it's just as if we do not have respect for life. So they have promised that there will be consequence. And the governors have also said there will be consequences. So we just want them to investigate and make sure the investigation is not right. taking too long. They investigate promptly and they give us the report of their investigation. But so far, we are we are we are satisfied with the the action right. we are getting from the government towards this event. You know, it was just meant to be a simple thing. You can even use their NIN. Uh, get them used to verify them. Just meant to be a seamless process. And that is the problem we have about not having data of students in this country. And at least we have easy times without number. At least there should be a, a way. But but most of you have most of the students will have their NIM. Uh, yes, and that can be, used. can be used. Even for yes, even then. bigger distributions, yes. just use that, and you don't have to. But we have to thank you so much. This is a story that is dear to us uh, because it concerns human life and also young Nigerians who, of course, have a bright future. I'd like to thank you so much uh, for sharing yeah. some insight. Uh, Akitei Babatun is the president of the Senate, announced the National Association of Nigerian yeah. Students. Thank you for your time. And we'll be following this story thank you, no to ensure you. that the yes, right sir. things are done, even yes, for future distributions yeah. as well. Thank you very much. Well, it's not all for this conversation, but we'll take a moment on this one. And when we return, we'll turn our attention to something vital to the life of our nation itself. You do not want to miss this conversation in a couple of seconds. So stay with us.